What's going on guys? G2 here. Welcome back to the bench. Today we're talking about Arcos grips. The caps or the grips? Which is easier? So for those of you who don't know much about Arcos, it's one of the many shot tracking systems that are out there. It uh, allows you to record your um, club length gives you a ton of strokes gain data, which is why I really like it. I've been using it for about two years. I've had zero issues with it. What I wanted to talk about today is which one of these is better, right? Uh, the way that this works is you sync it to your app and it just screws in to the vent hole of your butt cap, like so. It's secure, it's tight, it's not going to fall out. The only problem I have with this, and I started off with these, wasn't a fan, is when I grip the club, I tend to grip pretty far down on the butt of the shaft, right? So I would feel just the ever slight movement on this when I was gripping down. Now what I did was I called Arcos, told him I loved the system, um, but I wasn't a fan of the caps and I wanted to upgrade to the integrated grip caps. So they're built into the physical grip here and there's the sensor. So they, I sent back my old ones and they sent me replacement grips for all my clubs. This is the other problem a lot of people have with this. If these sensors go bad and there's a battery in there and they will eventually run out of battery and they'll need to be replaced, you have to replace the whole grip, right? Wrong. So this is why I love these because you can get these grips um, pretty easily through Arcos and these sensors Arcos will send you the replacement for free So you're out of no money if you need to replace a sensor So what I do with these and now I've kind of converted all of my gripping onto this is I blow them on with compressed air It's hard because there's no vent hole in this as you can see but there is right every grip is created the same All this was slightly modified for Arcos. So I use a small flathead screwdriver right here and you just simply put it on the side of the grip right here just kind of put it down in there and you gently just wedge out this sensor and there it is send it back to Arcos change your battery whatever you need to do and there's your vent hole right so you can blow these on and off no problem okay so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install one of these using the blow on method and traditionally you guys know traditional gripping you've got to get your double-sided grip tape you have to get your solvent you have to have a drip tray or something to catch the solvent so you're not throwing away good solvent because you can reuse solvent uh, after it's been used with this method of blowing on all you need is build-up tape or masking tape whichever you prefer masking tape is a little thinner than your traditional grip tape, which is why I like to use build-up tape. Kind of lowers the amount of layers that you're gonna need. If you're gonna use a vise and you don't have one of these quick clamps, got this off of Golf Works, you can get one of these old classic, uh, you know, shaft clamps and just use it in your vise. So we're gonna pop that guy in there. Make sure when you're setting it up, have those, you can see we have this set up so that our leading edge is straight vertical. This will help you align those grips much easier, especially when you're doing the blow on method because you don't really get a, uh, an opportunity like you would with the traditional method to adjust that grip. You kind of got to get it right the first time or just kind of adjust as needed. In this case, our first layer of build up tape is going to mimic what our grip tape would be. So let's just take a quick measure here about to that one. We're gonna put this on, all right? So the only thing with the blow up, blow on method, I would say is you wanna make sure that the butt of your grip is equivalent to the butt of your shaft because there's no solvent on here. There's no adhesion. It's just purely working off of friction. So you don't want that back to slide. So what I like to do is for a standard install, I'll do that and then I'll kind of do one more little piece right over here. So I'm increasing the taper to 
to ensure that we get a nice firm bond. And I'm typically a, um, a standard plus two wraps, maybe sometimes plus three, depending on the club. So for me, this is kind of a standard setup. Now the second thing you want to do is you want to get some grip solvent. It doesn't matter which one you use. This is a cheap one that I got. Um, it's not great for actually regripping, but it's perfect for this method. The best grip solvent that I have come across is this Brampton HF100. Never had any issues with it. And I'll just get a little rag and put some on there. And I'm just gonna rub it on here. It's all gonna evaporate like normal solvent will do. And then I'll get a little bit here, kind of dip the tip on the shaft and then start it here on the top of the grip, right? So now that we have it set, we're just gonna get our air compressor. Now you can use your standard um, emergency tire inflator. As long as you can hit 50 PSI, you're gonna be fine. Um, we have our, just our regular old um, adapter here that you would use to blow up a inflatable, uh, you know, pull toy or something like that. And you're just gonna insert that into the back of the vent. And then once you're on there, you're just going to release the, the air and then push it forward. Okay, and you wanna make sure that you're centered. You'll get a little bit of working time with that solvent on there, but you're not gonna be a lot, okay? So that's on, the butt is on. You can see there's a little movement on the back here because this, is hollow right where the sensor is going to go in so you're always going to have a little movement back there put the sensor in it just simply presses right back into place and that's it okay we're regripped it's on there it's solid it's not going anywhere if you want to you know remove it maybe you're changing clubs uh, maybe you're not going to use a 5-iron anymore, or you're going to go to a 5-hybrid, and you want to put this grip on your 5-hybrid uh, that may have not come with an integrated sensor. All you do is just pop that sensor out, like so. It's your air. And that's it. Just like that, you can go ahead and repeat the process and put it on your new grip. And this is how you can use these integrated without ruining them every time you want to change them or having to get new ones. Now I will say there is a place for this. I still use these. So for example, when I have that five hybrid, that new club I want to try out that may not have an integrated grip. A lot of the TaylorMades, Pings, Cobras are coming with these grips uh, integrated. I can screw this on top of a club that I'm trying to demo out. Let's get some data on it, see how it works, and then go and use the integrated. You know, it's easy on the fly. There's function in this. It's just not function if you are a low gripper and with this on there, what happens is now we go into, I'm um, holding the club even longer away, right? Because I'm increasing that length by, you know, half inch. So that's why I like these and I love that blow on method. Go ahead, give it a try out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, Make sure that you always swing hard just in case you hit the ball. G2 out.